So, most of you know what this is. This is the Furter Burner, the mini hot dog grill I developed last year. Video link in the description. I am leaving for Jimmy Duresta's place in a few days for Maker Camp, and I thought I would take this little guy along with me on my drive to New York in case I wanted a nice roadside snack. So, I have teamed up with Inventables, maker of my X-Car, to develop an all-in-one portable grilling valise for wieners on the road. Road wieners. This is my personal grill that I use in the shop. That's why it's got a nice lovely patina. The further burners are still available on my website, by the way. Check the video description for a limited time discount. What am I forgetting? Oh! I think that's it. This was recording in my pocket. Sounds like butt. All right, this is one of my favorite parts of project development. Iteration, finding the flaws, solving the problems. Can be a little wider. Oh, that's satisfying. It's like a game of perfection for meat lovers. Oh no! Oh. That is almost perfect. I'm a little short here. And other stories from my life. Good. Matches are good. All right, I think I can tighten things up a little bit and get to the matches okay. Oh, I need a striker. Striker, 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 striker. Airplane, anybody? I'm on my own here, aren't I? I should probably, I'm gonna be lifting this. The handle's gonna be on this end, so I should probably flip this just to prevent leaks. Yeah, oh, and I'm seeing a problem here. I need finger holes for fingering. Everything else looks pretty good. I might uh, give myself a couple of levels just so like these things fit level. Otherwise, next iteration.
you guys have watched me use my X car for several years now on a lot of different projects and one of the things that I've loved about it is the versatility. Uh, I've been able to upgrade different parts of the hardware as my needs have changed. You can use a variety of software to operate it depending on your needs, but it does come with Easel for free, which is what I learned on. For this project, I'm using Easel Pro, which has some additional features like a customizable tool library. I'm using two different bits for this project, a quarter inch for the large areas and an eighth inch for the details. And Easel Pro lets me create custom tool profiles so that I can just select the same material as before and one of the custom bits that I've saved and it'll automatically load all the previous feed and speed settings for when I cut the top half of this case. Okay, that fits great. Place for a striker. Ah, that fits now. And pull these out of here nice and easy. These are nice and level. And everything fits great. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a hole here now. I misjudged the uh, thickness of this bottle and realized I needed this entire depth to accommodate it so I just cut this all the way through and I'm going to face these with quarter inch plywood. Now let's make it pretty. So uh, I finally made myself a proper miter sled. I watched both David Picciuto's and Michael Alm's videos on making one of this style. I'll link to those down in the video description. I put off making one of these forever, but uh, I've got another video coming up in which I had to make more than 200 mitered pieces. So uh, I figured it was about time. <laughs> wow, I don't think I've ever cut anything that accurately. Big thanks to David and Michael. All right. Now you can see on the face, I uh, use the X-carve to just score a line to help position these.
Ah, I'm just screwing with you guys. This is for relish. Ketchup on a hot dog. So, if you would like to own this thing, don't click away just yet. First, I have to thank Inventables for sponsoring this project. I wish I could spend all my time on stuff like this. If you'd like to get an X-Carve like mine, follow the link below. Also, I have to give credit to the commenter who came up with this name on a previous Furterburner video. Thank you, whoever you were. Now, if you love this thing as much as I do and you'd like to get your hands on it, it's up for auction over on eBay right now, link below. I'm taking it with me to Maker Camp here in a few days up at Jimmy Duresta's place, but if you win the auction, as soon as I get back, I'll send it to you. It will come with a brand new deluxe further burner. This one's mine. As for the further burners by themselves, those are still available over on my website. If you're planning to get one, don't wait. I only have so much in inventory and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do another run before Christmas. Plus for a limited time, get 10% off. Oh, also anyone who buys one during the limited time offer gets free relish included. I couldn't find these little packets anywhere locally, so I had to buy a gross of them over on Amazon. In the meantime, follow me over on Instagram. I'm going to be posting a lot of stories from Maker Camp. I am hosting the inaugural Maker Burn in which I and Michael Alm build a two-story dinosaur and set it on fire. So, you don't wanna miss that. Thank you guys so much and good luck with the auction. And if you win it, it might smell like pickles. I've already cleaned it up, but uh, I smashed that relish packet in there when I closed it. But uh, hey, I like the smell of pickles.